there are a lot of the usual suspects on the naughty list here, Lauren. Well, that's right. The National Re Retail Federation is calling for a strong finish to a year that's been incredibly rocky for the retail industry. And they're expecting sales could rise as much as 5.2 percent from 2019 levels. But of course, not all companies are going to be declared winners this holiday season. Uh, it, for many, it is a make or break time of year. And 2021 could bring more bankruptcies after we've already seen more than three dozen retailers file for bankruptcy this year, marking an 11 year high. So retailers like Gap, L Brands, which owns Victoria's Secret, Kohl's, Macy's, and Bed Bath and Beyond are in the midst of massive turnaround plans uh, that include store closures. And more closures could be imminent in the new year, dependent upon their performance this holiday season. Kohl's in particular finds itself with a lot of momentum heading into the holidays. 95% uh, of its stores are located off mall, and we've seen that during the pandemic, consumers are a bit more comfortable shopping in these open air centers versus in closed malls. Uh, so really, you know, these retailers could use a strong holiday. A strong holiday season would certainly put them in a better position in their turnaround plans in a stronger spot to start the new year. I went to, I, I would think that y you almost have to you almost have to be a multi-channel retailer uh, these days. I went to a major retailer, I will leave the name off, and I don't know whether it's true in other parts of the country, but they were regulating the number of people who could enter the, the building, and there was a long line. And I just said, forget it. I'm just not going there. I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna wait for 45 minutes in the cold, so I'll go on their website and buy what I wanted to buy. Absolutely. Well, you're not alone. I, you know, I've heard many anecdotes of consumers kind of sharing that same experience. Uh, today, though, is actually the, the shipping cutoff for carriers like UPS, FedEx, and the United Postal Service uh, for ground shipping to get those packages to your door by Christmas Eve. So here's where we run into this dilemma. Uh, like you mentioned, many retailers still have capacity restraints in stores. So if you're a procrastinator this holiday season, you know, shopping at a store is is no longer the right option. You know, the CDC is actually recommending, you know, that you shop online uh, and avoid crowded stores mm -hmm. this holiday season. But when you, we've got these shipping cutoffs now, so retailers are encouraging customers to buy online, place an order online, but then pull up to the parking lot, use curbside pickup. Well, they'll bring that to your car. Um, but, you know, then we run into this scenario where I, I think we'll see a lot of crowded parking lots this holiday season. Uh, stores might be empty, but I I think uh, you know, certainly from here on out, you know, it, it's crunch time for retailers and, and yeah. they've got to figure out how to use these other services. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.